Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. Okay, in this next room, let me just explain for a little bit. We have these random green statues, this random yellow thing, these torches on the wall. I don't even know what this room is all about, but... And there's really no significance to these things. You, you could do this all day and not know what to do, unless you look at this sign. Uh, there's actually a Sundor release code. There are two codes that we have to enter. To save you some time, I already entered the first one. Uh, the first one looks like that. That one's blue, that one's blue. And then three blues, kind of like a triangle here. I, don't, I remember this by which ones are blue rather than which ones are red, because I think fewer are blue than red. So once we enter the first code, enter and re-exit, the first code is actually locked in. So that's good. You don't have to do both in a row, really. You just have to do the first one, then leave, then do the second one. Anyway, uh, let's try that second one. The second one is, this is blue, this is red, blue, you, you would think they use green, but I guess it's because the things are green, I don't know, blue, 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 and then I think we just gotta change this one to red, and that should do it, yes, it does, they disappear in warps, instant transmission, it's the only way to travel, kinda weird, but anyway. They all disappear, and the sun gate opens up with a beam of light. Hallelujah! Hits off the mirror, and yeah. <laughs> you can already tell. Light puzzles. This reminds me very much of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Uh, in that, you know, the mirror shield puzzles. This, there's one like this in that game. That, you know, a notorious mirror shield puzzle. Let's fight this thing. Oh, yo, bros. These guys are so, you know, out of style. They're just not cool. Maybe they, they would be cool to like a third grader who'd be like, Oh yeah, yo-yos! I, I use those! I have a yo-yo, I love yo-yos! But look at, they're just so stupid. Uh, let's do some knockback. Yeah, I'm really using these bros attacks I want to get the advanced commands. Advanced commands are a little bit more powerful, have different effects, and allow you to jump on spiked enemies, which is good. At least advanced uh, Splash Bros does. Which is what I really want. Um, oh god, viruses everywhere. I do like, I think I mentioned it right, I don't forget if I did or anything, didn't, that the viruses actually move differently on the overworld map. The red ones, I think, pursue you, the green ones, or the green ones, there are no green ones. Uh, the blue ones kind of just wander around, and the yellow ones wander in a pattern. So yeah, easy way to defeat the virus, make them all the same color, they just die. That's why, I think these, these three battles I really like, these are pretty memorable. Even though they're just random enemy battles, there are three battles of three viruses. And virus battles are fun, because you can just kill them all at once and just watch them, like, explode. Of course, you don't have to, uh, do that. <laughs> Dead! You don't have to do that. You can actually take them out one by one if you wanted to, but this is so much more fun. Why would you not do this? Yeah. I do like how they included viruses, though. A great, great Mario reference. More more games should have viruses as an enemy. Why don't they? I don't know. They're dead. They give a lot of experience, too. I mean, those are pretty simple battles. That battle took, like, maybe 10 seconds, and that gave a lot of experience. And Luigi's level 11. No. He's past level 11. Why did I say 11? I don't know why I said 11. I must be blind. Level 18. And he's doing his little kick dance. Speed? Nah, I just did speed. How about bros points? Could use some bros points. Come on, two. Eh, not bad. Would have liked something to get a little better again, but... Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Okay, rally block. Now, this is a legitimate rally block, not one of those fake ones that we saw in the, in the lab there. So all you do is you hit it back and forth, and you get coins for every time that you hit it. I believe this can be done, like, as many times as you can. So this really isn't a limit, and this is a great way to rack up coins if you're good at this. Again, though, that's a big if you're good at this. I don't know. It gets to be pretty fast. Pretty fast. It's Oh, God, that was fast. I got 20, though. That's good. That's really good. Now, I think if you use it again, you don't get coins, though. But you can try to get, like, a high score. Not that that would really matter, but... Actually, I'm going to check that out after I save my game right here in the Woohoo University Corridor. Yeah, you can see, look at all that experience I gained since then. Let's just give it a shot. Oh, you do? Do you actually get coins from this still? Huh, whatever. I don't really care. Or maybe you can only do it so many times. Whatever. 
Doesn't really matter to me. I don't need all those coins. I do do want to get this though. Oh, wrong, wrong thing. Switch. Hammer! So you can see the little indent there. You gotta keep a lookout for those. Chuckle beans are in limited supply. They're not like uh, woo beans where you can just get a bunch of them. Or uh, tea bean. No, he beans. We haven't seen he beans yet. But when we do, you'll, you'll be able to get like so many of them. It's not even funny. Uh, anyway, we have this puzzle thing here. So let's start out by having Mini Mario enter that little tunnel. And hammering the button. Once he hammers the button, aha, Mario's locked in, but we can swap to Luigi and have Luigi hammer that button. But now Luigi is locked in, and Mario must hit that button. See, I like this. This is a pretty cool puzzle. This is, you know, switch back and forth between the Mario Bros and do random things. Jump using the A and B buttons, hit the blocks. As they move to the short points, get 30 points in 25 seconds or... Is this a mini game? What's up with the mini games? Oh god, this is this is cool though. I do like this a lot. This is a pretty awesome mini game. You gotta be very, very careful and look out for the blocks and track two things at the same time. It's like this is kind of crazy. It looks a lot easier than it actually is because to track both of these at the same time is kind of tough. I think I only needed how many points? Thirty. Clear. Barely. Barely clear. But hey, whatever. It works for me. Let's join up. Actually, no. Mini Mario needs to go in here next. Hit that to grab a mushroom. Up here. Now walk up along this top area. I believe we need to... Uh, yeah, walk around here. I think we, do we have to clear that? Yes. Now where? Now where? Do we fall in here? I forget. I forget. What's down here, anyway? Ah, yes. We do need to go down here. Down here, we will find... A whole lot of nothing. No, there is a purpose to down here, I forget. Uh, it, might just, it might be that there's invisible uh, blocks, but I don't really remember. And we'll go here a little later. Maybe we, maybe we come back here a little later. I forget. But we do need to go there for something, eventually. Uh, anyway, this way, and I guess we'll just hit this button. Seems like the next logical thing to do. Okay, let's get out of here. Swap to Luigi, catch up with Mario. Yeah, see, this is a cool puzzle. I like these types of puzzles. These types of puzzles are fun. Okay. Hammer and in the barrel. Now we gotta change Mario's action command to. <laughs> don't know what that noise is, but anyway. Oh, F, wrong button. Oh, don't even tell me I have to do that all again. Don't even tell me I have to do that all again. No, oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Just remember, it's B, not A. I want to press B, B, B. There we go. That'll angle that down like that. Excellent. Alright, so that's the next area we have to go. Eventually, you know, you can kind of figure out that we have to direct the light beam all the way back to the main area. Uh, anyway, I'm pretty sure there has to be something up here. I don't remember what it is, though, but... I think we may be able to... Oh, I don't remember. There's something there. I'm telling you there's something there. I just don't remember what it is. Let me, let me, actually, let me try looking again. Not in there. Because I'm almost like positive that there's something hidden in there that I really don't want to miss. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just delusional. Maybe I'm just wasting a lot of time. But there's only one way to find out going here again. Is there really nothing in here? That seems kind of unlikely. I don't know, I guess there could really be nothing in here. It seems like such a hidden room, though, that there would most certainly be something in here. Doesn't look like there is, though. That's so weird. I, I forget. I forget what that room's for. This, That's gonna bug me. There's something that that room's for. There's no way it's just an empty room. Ah, eh, whatever. Don't care. Out here. Uh, high jump up here. I don't need to use that again. Uh, down here. And let's backtrack. Follow the light beam. Let's avoid the enemies. We fought enough enemies. Well, actually, I would ideally like Mario and Luigi to be at level 20 about for this upcoming boss of Woohoo University. But 
We'll see. If they're a little below, I don't really care. I will be fine. I think Luigi's 18 now. Not 11. 18. And Mario's pretty up there too, so. He's got to be 17 or 18, so. That's pretty good. Alright, follow the light trail. I do like how the light trail actually leads you back. You don't have to figure it out for yourself. That's, that is one good thing. Okay. Bunch of blocks here. A mushroom. A who bean. That's good. A syrup. A super mushroom. Alright, here's a random block. What you do, it's kind of like a bros block, except it doesn't alternate. You have to pay attention to what it is. Yeah, so so see, this is, this is much trickier than a bros block. I hate these random blocks. They seem to go on for longer, though, than a bros block. Ugh, these things are tough. Okay, jump, Mario. Come on, Mario. Get up there. Jump, jump. Ah, well, I guess that was kind of worth it. Another thing here. Little item, grab that. Can't elude me, Chuckle Bean. I don't think so. Uh, here's another one of these things. Remember these things? Yeah, of course you do. Alright, so let's see how we have to deal with that. I don't think we have to deal with that for a little while now. Okay. <laughs> this looks fun. Alright, let's see what we have to do. Uh, actually, I think we first have to go in here. Or is it, unless this is the way to get back up. This might be the way to climb back up. So, you know, I don't want to touch that just yet. Uh, let's try spin jump. Up here. Yeah, nice spin jump. Spin jump again. That seems to be kind of the right thing to do. I forget. I should have probably, you know, looked this up a little bit, but I just didn't. I don't know. Spin jump over there. And now we need Mini Mario again. Mini Mario, go in this door. I command you, a maze game! I love it. Okay, which way to go? Which way? Not that way. Let's try this way. This is again talk about like Mario Party minigames. This is totally reminiscent of a Mario Party minigame. I don't know which one. This just seems like a maze in the dark could be easily a Mario Party minigame. And we'll hit that button. After all that, that'll lower all those blocks, allowing us to get back easily and it will drop a barrel there, so that's convenient. Convenient barrel is convenient. Okay. And let's get out of there and rejoin with Luigi. And now... Alright, let's see. Let's see. What do we do now? Uh, can... No. Can we get up there? Oh, we can. Is there anything actually up here? Oh, there is, but we can't go, can't go that way yet. Can't let you do that yet. Oh man, talk about a puzzle. This is this is ridiculous. This is so intricate. Okay. Get up there. I don't know how we're gonna get that. Kinda just fell. Oh, virus. Laser sniff it. Don't need to fight those things. Okay, let's do this. Another barrel. Okay. <laughs> more than one barrel. Sure. Why not? The more the merrier. Good stuff. Up here, up, up, jump, jump, jump. Okay, I really can't figure out what all this is about. So let's just take it one thing at a time. I think that might be the best option at this point. First, let's get rid of this thing, because we definitely have to do that. And clearly. Ah, uh, I see what they did there. Wow, that is intricate. Okay, what is that crane gonna do? Oh boy. No, 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 no. Luigi's in there. No, you, you're taking my brother. There's been a mistake. Okay, I guess we're a solo Mario from here on out. Okay, gotta go in here. That directs you around now. Little map. Don't need to really look at the map. I know my way around, damn it. Uh, even though I clearly have no idea where I'm going. Alright, so now that crane's gone, you can get across here. And here's Mario's time to shine. As if he doesn't already have enough time to shine, but. This is Mario's solo battle. No Luigi to back him up. There we go. Take out the eager. And... Oh, I thought that was the virus kill. Nope. I'll kill the virus now, though. Yellow virus death. Epic virus death. Mario solo level up. That's kind of disheartening. I kind of miss Luigi now. It's different when Luigi's alone because... Luigi never gets to be alone. But when Mario's alone, it's like... Mario, you're always by yourself. Come on. This isn't as special as it could be. Could be. 
And I guess we have a little solo Mario segment here. I'll gladly take a refreshing herb and gladly fall off, so I have to do all that again. Jump there, jump there. I'll take a syrup. Oh, what the hell? Am I gonna keep falling? This is kind of boring, but hey, it's solo Mario. This is. See, imagine if it was just called Mario Superstar Saga. How boring would that be if there was no Luigi? Heal up. Okay. I really want that item. This game making me backtrack. All the way up here. I bet they, they thought of that too. They're like, some poor sap is gonna fall off every time. Just for a friggin' mushroom. Just for a friggin' mushroom. Oh boy. Luigi. Luigi's in trouble. Ah. Ha! Doesn't this look familiar? Where have I seen this before? Um... <laughs> well, I keep getting hit. Does that actually do H damage? I don't know. Do, 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 It's Donkey Kong reference. Ow. Oh, that takes me all the way back to the beginning. What the shit? Okay, let's actually do this for real. Uh, you apparently can't jump over these barrels when you're going up the hill, because you don't have enough... Or up an incline, rather. You don't have enough momentum to make it. So I guess you just gotta time your jumps a little more carefully and not be a total idiot like I am. Look at that. What the hell? Now I'm back down here again. Jump. Jump. Come on, Mario. Jump! Oh, God. Ah, oh, damn it. This is so easy. Why am I failing on the barrel segment? This is not hard. This is not difficult. This is, shouldn't even be used, you know, that word shouldn't even be used to describe this at all. This is really easy. Look at how easy this is when I complain about it. Help! Help! I'll get you, Luigi. Hmm, but how can we save him? Let's hit, let's hit the button and find out. Aha, the, the way is open and there's Luigi. <laughs> I love that voice clip. <laughs> no, Luigi! Get back here. No, stop. Where are you going? Okay, let's go. After Luigi. Kind of weird physics there, don't question it. But hey, that works. <laughs> I love this game sometimes, you know? Moments like that, they could only happen in this game. Luigi, Mario. Aww, how nice. That's so sweet. Anyway, that's a good way to end it off. Next time on Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. We will probably wrap up Blue University. This shouldn't take too much longer. So, this is Shadow Mario 41. I will see you then. Ciao.